Now this unit here is an electrolyzer that was originally designed to run uh, a Mazda RX-7, which is a car with a rotary engine, but it's been modified recently to power a generator, a six and a quarter kilowatt generator. And that generator will produce enough electricity uh, uh, to meet about two thirds of the needs of a home. Wow. And uh, so what this box is made of, it consists of a plexiglass box in, a metal, in an aluminum frame with a plexiglass lid and it has 61 stainless steel plates in it, spaced at 11 hundredths of an inch apart. It's almost an eighth of an inch. And there's uh, an electrolyte solution in between the plates that doesn't come up as high as the top. And that electrolyte solution allows electri electricity to be conducted from, from one end to the other through the plates. And as electricity goes through those plates, you get a, uh, slightly less than two volts between the two plates, and that's enough voltage to generate all, uh, all of this hydrogen and oxygen. It breaks the water molecule apart. Water is H2O, and you get that same ratio of two H's and one O in terms of the gas that comes out through here. So this connects to this how? Uh, it generates the gas in here. The gas comes up through this tube and goes into the scrubber. And the scrubber removes, there's sodium hydroxide as an electrolyte in here. And the sodium hydroxide allows the current to flow. But you don't want the vapors of sodium hydroxide to get in the engine because they'll ruin it. So uh, this removes the sodium hydroxide vapors uh, from the gas that's coming through. And then when it comes into this, this is the bubbler here, the second one. And although they're identical in construction, uh, one performs a different duty than the, this one prevents, uh, in case of a backfire in the engine, that fire would follow the fuel all the way back to here. And uh, when the fire reached the water in the bubbler, that water stops the fire from reaching this unit. Because if that fire reached this unit right here, there's a big space above those plates that's like a reservoir for the hydrogen and oxygen, and it would explode, and it would be a big explosion. It would be very dangerous. So uh, uh, this protects, protects everything. Now, if the backflash reached this unit right here, this thing would blow up, and this would be sacrificed. But uh, we have a second means of protection, and at the end of this hose, when it's hooked up to the generator, we have another three-inch PVC tube that's stuffed with bronze wool, and that bronze wool has protected the uh, backflash from following up the tube and reaching this thing. So we have two means of protecting from backfires of the engine. Uh, which is not necessary, you only need one, but two is, two is better in our case. So anyway, that's how it works. And then the gas goes from that, uh, that backflash protector into the carburetor of the engine. So that's what this is used for. And what is this thing again? This uh, little thing on top here is a, a pressure sensor. And it has, it's not connected to the electrical circuitry yet, but we have a circuit that when this reaches a certain threshold pressure, it will turn this unit off so that it won't build up too much pressure. Okay.